Okay, in this workshop, what we're going to look at is the brushes. So over here, we have a little brush palette. If I click in here, you can see we have lots of different brushes to choose from. So these are all standard brushes that ship with ZBrush, and they all do different things. For instance, if I come to the Move Brush over here, you can actually select things like a Move Brush. And when I apply this, you're going to see I can actually move things out so I can move by rotating the object round. I can move things out. Now I need to tell you about the brush settings as well in ZBrush. So you're going to see up here, we have a little sliders. One is called draw size, and this makes the, but the, the actual brush bigger or smaller. Now you're going to see two rings inside this. And these two rings show where the feathering occurs. So the inner ring is where it's going to pull from, and then it will feather out to the outer ring. So as I drag this up, it will give me a feather across here, or a kind of slope. Now this, what's called focal shift, can be changed inside here. If you see, if I'm dragging this, how it's changing. So if I have no focal shift, I put it on minus 100, I just bring this draw size down and I pull it out. It's going to pull it straight out of the model because there's no slope. So if I soften it by bringing in the focal shift, now you're going to get a much more gradual. And this is the same for any of the brushes you use. So if I go back to a standard brush, you can press S in here and go to standard here. You can see I can do the same with this. I can draw across this, gives me a nice slope. If I change that focal shift, it's going to be really, really no softness to that brush at all. So brushes usually use a stroke setting and an alpha as well, which we're going to not be talking about in this basic course. So I need now to tell you about different things you can do with brushes inside here. So remember you can choose a variety of the brushes in here, all do different things. So it's worth going in and playing around with them. If I go to some of the chisel brushes for instance, it can give you a really nice uh, cut into the model by dragging around. You can see it's giving me like a little guide so I can slowly make sure it's correct. I can also change the focal shift with this as well to make it a bit softer as I'm dragging like this. Let me change that focal shift and make it quite big here and then you can see a difference going on. See it's a bit smoother there. So we can also press some of the keys to change the action of the brushes. So in the next lesson what we're going to do is we're going to actually have a look at what we else we can do with the brush as far as using keyboard shortcuts uh, for the brush and what we can do with the object. By the way, it's also worth noting that here you can actually go back steps. You can also press the Control Z on your keyboard and this will go back steps uh, within that particular subtool, which is here. And remember, we've only created one subtool at the moment. Later in this, we'll be creating multiple subtools and we'll be doing a mini project to use all of the skills that you will have learned today. So let's move on to the next workshop now.